Hi there, I'm Vince from Neoduction, and I'm here to talk to you about the Hierarchy plugin. Hierarchy is a new process born from digital systems for digital systems. There is nothing similar to it in the analog world. It's very easy to use, but it may need some explaining. Hierarchy is based on the classification and dynamic manipulation of what we call sound objects. It is not a compressor, it is not an equalizer, it is not an expander. In some cases, chances are you'll get a similar result, but what Hierarchy does not do is insert counter phases. You can use Hierarchy either in your channel inserts or in your master channel, and it is not exclusive, so you can use it with your favorite plugins. Hierarchy increases the density of the sound objects in the original signal, thereby enriching it and giving the same results that you would get by bringing the microphone closer to the source or hitting the drum harder. The less energetic objects, like consonants or the hit of a drum, will gain strength relative to those with more energy, like vowels or the resonance of wood. But let's see how it works. So this is the song we're going to use for the demo. It's a mix for the Spanish band, the Kojaks. There are several ways we can use Hierarchy. We can group the tracks we want to process and insert the plug-in in the master fader. The result of this is a fresh and new sound. The process is sometimes so intense that we recommend inserting it before equalizing and compressing the bus. Let's take a look at the master section. We're going to insert two processors. To begin with, we are going to select the music style using the set feature. The unit is going to work on the sound density, so we want to set it to E, F, G, or H using the pattern selector. Hierarchy does not produce clipping distortion, so you can chain as many plugins as you want, one after another. Hierarchy will not get rid of background noise or compressor distortion, so this is a limit to consider. The second processor is meant to bring out the nuances and small objects. We select the rock set, then we set the D pattern. Now we can perceive the changes that are produced in different sound layers. You can listen to subtle details that have been revealed, such as the brightness of the cymbals or the major enhancement in the acoustic of the track. Another way to use hierarchy is to group the tracks, insert the plugin for each group, and then insert just one processor in the master channel to boost the sound density. We can start with the drum group, and so on. Hierarchy, as the name implies, may establish a second hierarchy between the sound of the groups that is independent of the bus faders. For an instrument, we can achieve a quieter but clearer sound, or a louder but less important sound. This gives us an additional control of the presence of sound elements within the DAW. Note that the accumulation of sound objects can result in the average level of your mix rising by 4.5 dB per processor. This is normal, but it's not the aim of hierarchy, it's just a logical side effect. So these are the basic uses that we've found for the plugin. We are sure you can find more. There is a psychoacoustic effect on the hierarchy process that will make you feel a more interesting sound and will help you more fully appreciate the interpretation of musicians. This happens because you're better perceiving the nuances of the music and your brain is more entertained by a denser and richer sound. We hope you enjoy the plugin. <laughs>